Hello learners, welcome to Cash Education. In this video, we will study about the lac operon. An operon is defined as the cluster of closely linked genes that function together in a coordinated manner. They also regulate each other's expression through special regulatory regions that are placed in them. Lac operon is a type of operon. It is an inducible type of operon. An inducible type of operon requires an effector molecule. In the presence of such an effector molecule, the lac operon will be switched on. Therefore, genes present on the lac operon will be transcribed and translated into their respective proteins. Because the presence of the effector molecule induces the operon to transcribe its gene, the effector molecule is called as an inducer. The inducible type of lac operon is required for the metabolism of lactose. Therefore, when lactose is added in the media, bacteria will switch on their lac operon, transcribe the genes and therefore metabolize lactose. There are three genes that are present on the lac operon of the metabolic category. These three genes are metabolic genes and they will synthesize enzyme that will help in the digestion of lactose. Other two genes are the regulatory type of genes. These genes regulate the expression of the three metabolic genes that are present. The first gene, also called LAC-Z, codes for an enzyme beta-galactosidase. Gene 2, called as LAC-Y, codes for the enzyme permease. Gene 3, LAC-A, codes for the enzyme transacetylase. The second regulatory region does not code for any protein and is known as the operator sequence. It has its own promoter. The first regulatory region called as LAC-I codes for a repressor protein also having its own promoter sequence. Beta-galactosidase is an enzyme that will convert lactose into allolactose. Beta-galactosidase will also break down lactose into glucose and galactose. Permease is a channel forming protein that catalyzes the transport of lactose from outside the media into the bacterial cell. Transacetylase is going to use allolactose and convert it into acetylated allolactose. The function of acetylated allolactose is still unknown. Therefore, the molecule allolactose serves as the inducer or effector molecule for the lack of the wrong. This is all for today. If you like this video, subscribe to my channel, give a thumbs up to my video. There will be further videos uploaded on the operation of lacoperon, on the regulation of lacoperon and the mutations found in lacoperon. See you again next time.